convinced accused of raping and kidnapping in the 1970s is still waiting on a mental competency evaluation despite his trial being just days away. The BDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian breaks down the news today live with these developments and Aubrey, what is the delay behind of all this? Hey Randy, so I just left the courthouse and I asked Hecker's attorney that exact question. He said part of it is due to doctor's schedules, but he didn't know for sure. And keep in mind, this trial is set for Monday. Before the trial can start, though, a medical determination, it needs to happen. Hecker, he was not in the courtroom. He is in a guarded medical facility. Hecker, typically, he brings about three attorneys to court. Today, there was just one. Hecker is accused of choking his alleged victim until he was unconscious and raping him back in the 1970s. Last June, I tracked Hecker down when I asked him about that abuse. He said, quote, there is good and bad in everybody. Hecker was arrested. Hecker was later arrested and these new court records, they show Hecker is in restraints for his own protection after pulling out his IVs. Why has the mental evaluation not happened yet? I think just logistically it hasn't it just hasn't happened with the doctor's schedules. I, I'm not entirely sure. I can't comment one way or, or the other on that. We need to have him evaluated by the doctors and once we have a, you know, a report from them talking to us about, you know, what his status is and and how they feel he is, then we can make a decision about what we're going to do from them. You know, obviously if they say he's incompetent, then that is going to change where we go uh, strategically, but if they say he's competent, then we'll have to address that and be prepared for trial. And that picture you just saw is Hecker climbing into the back of a truck the day that he was arrested. Hecker's trial at this hour, we are told it is still set for Monday, but that could change. So Randy, stay with me on this developing story. Thank you. The beginning of a trial for a former priest accused of rape and kidnapping is supposed to start in just a matter of days. But now we are learning the trial for Lawrence Hecker could be delayed. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian was in the courtroom today. Aubrey, what needs to happen before this trial can start? Hey there, Gina. So a very big update today at criminal court. The evaluation still needs to be complete. His trial, which is set for Monday, it cannot start without it. It's good and bad in everybody. That's what former New Orleans priest Lawrence Hecker told WDSU investigates before he was arrested last year. His accuser responding through his attorney about a possible trial delay, issuing a statement that reads in part, if Hecker does not stand trial, the pedophiles and their protectors win again by running out the clock. Our client is disgusted by this ploy as are numerous victims of this monstrous pedophile. We're still awaiting an evaluation. Matthew McLaren, one of Hecker's three attorneys, was the only one in court Thursday. Why has the mental evaluation not happened yet? I think just logistically it hasn't, it just hasn't happened with the doctor's schedules. I, I'm not entirely sure. I can't comment one way or, or the other on that. When Hecker was arrested in September, we obtained this image of him climbing into a pickup truck with no help. What is the current state of Lawrence Hecker? I mean, Mr. Hecker is a 92 year old man who's in an extended care facility um, and he's struggling with some health issues. Um, mentally, he, he's, you know, in and out of being able to assist us with what's going on. Um, so as, as I stand, you know, it's difficult for me to have him assist me currently in his state. Court records show Hecker is in restraints for his own protection after pulling out his IVs. Prosecutors say Hecker is a confessed child sex abuser and rapist. WDSU investigates also obtained crucial records linked to Hecker's sex abuse allegations that date back decades. Release the documents. Release them, sir. I beg of you. Give us healing. And this week, only WDSU investigates cameras were rolling when a clergy survivor asked Archbishop Gregory Amon for transparency and to release records linked to sex abuse. Get this bankruptcy finished. My God, get it finished. And he was molesting me and he did the others here. We've spoken to a lot of men who say they were abused by Hecker. Do you believe those men? I, I mean, I'm not going to comment on all of that right now. And at last check, the trial, it is still set for Monday. We have also asked the Archdiocese for comment regarding records being released. 
We have not heard back. Hecker has pled not guilty. Back. Retired Catholic priest Lawrence Hecker admitted to sexually abusing teenage boys last summer in a powerful interview that he did with WWL investigator David Hammer and our partners at The Guardian newspaper. Hecker's supposed to go on trial for rape Monday, but David was in court this morning and he's joining us now in the studio with an up important update in this case. David. Yeah, Katie, we've been wondering if the rape trial of 92 year old priest Lawrence Hecker would start as scheduled on Monday. Well, this morning we got our answer and it's going to be delayed. You might recall Hecker admitted to us last year on camera that he had sex with at least three underage boys in the 1960s and 70s. And a week later, he was arrested and charged with aggravated rape, kidnapping, crime against nature and theft. He pled not guilty to those charges last year, but then his lawyers asked for a mental competency hearing. That was supposed to be this morning, but defense attorney Matthew McLaren said Hecker hasn't even been evaluated by doctors yet. Mr. Hecker is a 92 year old man who's in an extended care facility um, and he's struggling with some health issues. Um, mentally, he, he's, you know, in and out of being able to assist us with what's going on. Is he under guard? Is it yeah. like being in jail? Okay. It is like being in jail. There's a guard with him. Now, Hecker stood in the August heat for 18 minutes and clearly answered all our questions. He claimed the sexual revolution made him feel, quote, finally free to have sex with 15 and 16 year old boys. He claimed if he had known then what we know now, he wouldn't have done it. But to be clear, even in the 1960s and 70s, it was a felony for adults to have sex with children under 17. So bottom line, Hecker will not stand trial on Monday, and he still needs to be mentally evaluated to see if he's able to assist in his own defense.